everyone. So just a warning, I'm a little bit stuffy and sick, but that's okay. We're going to start with eyes. So I'm going to take the Kat Von D Interstellar Palette and take the black eyeshadow. And then I'm going to take a floofy brush and put this all over my eyelid to create the deep skull eye look. And then eventually I'm going to be taking smaller and smaller brushes to really get detailed and defined and closer to my eye. Next, I'm taking the matte brown eyeshadow and using a separate floofy brush, putting this on the outer edges of my black eyeshadow. And then I'm taking my Katie Cat Eye Mascara and I'm just putting this all over my lashes to create a darker look. Then I'm taking some silver eyeshadow and using a separate floofy brush, put this again on the edges and really just make it shiny and defined. Then I'm going to be taking the black eyeshadow again and using a liner brush I'm going to be filling in my brows with the black so that my brows will end up being completely black. I'm also going to take that liner brush and the black to create a skull nose. So I'm just rounding it towards the bottom and then I'm going to be creating two separate different length branches and then connecting them. And then I'm just filling it all in. And you might need multiple layers of the shadow to really create a dark look. Then I'm also going to add some brown on the outer edges as well as silver. And this just creates a more dirty kind of skull look. And now for contour. So for my cheeks, I'm going to be using the Forever 21 Contour Palette and then use the darkest shade, bottom right, and I'm going to really saturate the brush, and I'm using a special contour brush. And then I'm starting at my temples, and for a skull contour, it's going to be a little bit different from a normal one, so I'm just going to move down, and then horizontally across my cheekbone, and then down again. And then I'm gonna darken it up, and this just creates a nice skull contour, and I'm also going to bring this up past my temples as well. And then I'm going to add the black eyeshadow and a small brush, and just darken the entire look and make it black. This really just creates a skull shape on your face. take the lightest color in the contour palette and I'm actually going to be putting this on my lips. Weird, I know, but it actually really works for making your lips blend in and look a little brighter than the rest of your skin. And then I'm going to be taking my liner brush again and the black eyeshadow and creating what looks like teeth. So I'm just drawing a line above and below on each lip. And these are tiny lines, and then eventually we're going to drag them out. And then also put a line right where my upper and lower lips meet, and then drag that line out and add a couple more teeth lines. And then I'm going to add some at the bottom as well, and up towards my nose. So now I'm just lightly dragging out the lines that I made on my lips to really make it look realistic like a skull. Finally going back to my interstellar palette, I'm taking this lavender color and a really floofy brush and then I'm just going to put this in the upper regions of my cheekbones where I would normally put a blush and then I'm also going to highlight other areas of my face as well just to add more 
depth and contrast to my face. Okay, so for this I'm going to start with the eyes, and I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm weird, it's okay. Alright, so I'm going to take a black makeup crayon, you can get this at pretty much any Halloween store, I got this at Target actually, and I'm just going to make a square-ish circle, and then use the Inner Stellar Palette by Kat Von D, and then I'm going to use the Very Black Shade. And then I'm going to use a tissue so none of the product falls down onto my cheeks. And I'm going to put the black eyeshadow all over within that square circle thing. And eventually I'm going to be using smaller brushes to fill in closer towards the eye. So now I'm going to take my black Wet n Wild eyeliner and I'm going to be making half circles all around the black eye circle that I filled in previously and this is going to be a little bit time consuming and requires some detail and dedication but it looks really cool when you're done. Now I'm going to take the eyeliner and I'm going to make an upside down V right underneath my lips and then I'm going to make a circle towards the bottom of that upside down V and it just creates a cool pattern for this sugar skull look. So next I'm taking this red wet n wild lipstick and I'm going to take a liner brush and put this on the lipstick and this just gives me a more precise line on my skin and I'm going to put this in the middle of the black lines that I made before but I'm going to leave a space in between them and then I'm just going to fill this in after that. And next I'm taking this brown lipstick, it's a brownish red, it's kind of like a rusty color, and I'm going to do the same thing, I'm just going to go over the red, and this just creates a nice darker deep red look. And then I'm going to make little dots around this shape thing, whatever you want to call it, with the eyeliner. Next, I'm going to create the outline of the nose using the eyeliner again, and yes, I know eyeliner is supposed to be for eyes, but this also works super well when it comes to outlining certain things on makeup looks for Halloween, and it's a lot more precise than the makeup crayon. And then I'm going to take the black eyeshadow from before and fill in the outline. So now I'm going to take the eyeliner again and make little lines across my lips to create the skull teeth. And 
and then I'm going to make a line and drag it out towards my cheeks. And again, make the tiny lines across after I darken this line to create more of a tooth effect. And now I'm going to create a line above my eyebrow and curl it at the end just to add an extra little design. To add to the design, I'm going to create a heart on my forehead using the black eyeliner to line the outline. And then using the red lipstick again, I'm going to fill in the entire heart. Now using the bottom end of the brush, I'm going to dip into the red lipstick and I'm going to create dots above the little eyebrow type line. And I'm going to do it the same on the other side. And then using the same technique, I'm going to create half circles on either side of my forehead. And on either side of my nose, I'm creating two little teardrop looking shapes. And then I'm going to use my eyeliner to create two dots at the end. And here you have it guys, the finished look. So to start this look, I'm using the L'Oreal Nude Palette, and I'm going to use this brown eyeshadow. Then using my contour brush, I'm going to put the brown color on the outer portions of my eye, and then take the Intercellar Palette by Kat Von D, and use this other brown color, and layer that on top of the brown that I previously put. Now I'm using the Maybelline Color Tattoo in gold and putting this on the inner and middle portions of my eyelid. And then I'm going to take some of the brown and put that over that and then use the L'Oreal Infallible Paints and put this underneath my eye, kind of like a liner but very thick, and I'm going to put it on top of my eyelid as well. And then drag it out a little bit to create a sort of bold wing. And I'm also going to add some dots underneath my eye and above. Going back to the Intercellar palette, I'm going to take this yellowish color and use this to highlight my brow bone. Next I'm using this NYX brow palette and I'm going to fill in my brows with the brown. And then using my Forever 21 contour kit, I'm taking the darkest shade. And I'm going to create a contour in the hollows of my cheeks. And I want this to be really bold. I'm also going to bring it up and onto my forehead as well. And then I'm just going to drag this and bring it closer and closer to my lips. Then I'm going to take the color and create a skull nose, but only on half the nose because I want this look to only be on one side of my face. And then I'm going to create some other lines just to add to the skull detail. Next I'm using the Infallible Paints Gold and I'm going to put this on half of my lips. And then I'm going to take the brown and I'm going to create tiny lines again to make the teeth. And remember this is only on one side because this is just a half face look. And then again dragging it out. And then I'm going to lengthen the lines to make it more dramatic. And then in between the lines, I'm going to fill in with the Infallible Paints Gold, so it's like gold teeth. Then I'm going to take the black from the Intercellar palette and go over the brown lines.
then I'm going to take my Katie Cat Eye Mascara and coat both of my eyes with this. The lashes, not the actual eye. And here's the finished look. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. If you have any suggestions for future videos, please let me know. This is the end of my Halloween makeup series for this year, but if you have any other ideas, please feel free to post them on Instagram or to your own YouTube channel and let me know about them and I will be sure to check them out. Alright, be sure to read the description for all the makeup products listed below and for my social media accounts. See you soon. Bye guys!